Hi, my name is Kate. Thank you so much for pressing play on this video. If you're here for the first time, thank you. Hi. Um, thank you for tuning in. I officially have 1,000, over 1,000 subscribers, which isn't a lot in the YouTube world, but I'm really, really excited about it. So thank you so much for those who have subscribed. If you like this video, please do the same thing um, and connect with me on Instagram. I love talking to everyone about fashion. So today what I have for you is a haul. I haven't done a haul in a long time because well, mostly because I'm seven months pregnant, so <laughs> I've been kind of buying what works um, on what fits. So I'm at the point where I'm buying a couple things for now and a couple things for after. So it's a it's it's been a tough shopping trip, but I recently went to New York and I wanted to show you exactly what I got and try everything on for you. Um, within reason, some things are just a little bit too tight and they're reserved for after baby comes out. Um, but otherwise, I picked up a couple new things from Airy, uh, Cezanne, and Hatch. I have the stuff from New York, it's from Madewell, Doan, and then I have some new sandals from Loeffler Randall, which I'm very excited to show you because they're so pretty and I've been thinking about them for so long. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. So what I did in New York is I ordered a bunch of Doan dresses to my hotel room. I'm from Canada, so I don't really get an opportunity to order a lot we, and we don't get like free returns and we get hit with duty charges. So when I'm down there, I try to take advantage and do my best to um, just find a beautiful dress that I love. And so I ordered a couple dresses and then I eventually walked away with this pretty bijou dress, which was a very big surprise to me. Um, after stocking the brand online and through Instagram and like checking where they're tagged and looking through the Doing Collective hashtag, I fell in love with this dress on other people versus what they had online. This is so pretty in real life on real women and they influenced me to buy it and here it is. I'm so excited that I have it. It is this beautiful vintage inspired dress and the print is called Octavia. It has smocking on the front here with a very, very tiny ruffle and then a long sleeve with a, a puff sleeve. The way they style it online on the site is with the puff really dramatic and really dramatized. Um, I'm wearing Dawn right now, so they like a puff sleeve. But um, I wasn't a fan of it online. But once I saw real women wearing it and then the puff wasn't as puffy, I was really excited to try this dress and it works. This is also in my pre-baby size, so this is a size small and that is one thing that I definitely try to do is stay within my size range when looking for bump friendly um, outfits. There's a couple things that I went up on but I know that they're going to fit well afterwards so you'll see that. But this is a size small and I will show you what it looks like on. The cotton fabric is so soft and so pretty and it's just very cheerful and happy, which is the perfect dress for right now. So I'm very excited to have it in my collection, wear it for date nights, wear it around my children. I think the print is very kid friendly because it is so busy and if I do get a couple of jam marks on here, it's easily washed out. It is 100% cotton, but they do recommend it to dry clean it. Next up is I have basically a haul from Madewell. I went in there and everything is beautiful and rainbow. Everything I got from New York is very colorful. Um, if you asked me like five years ago if I would wear all these rainbow colors or all these bright colors, I wouldn't do it. So it's really interesting how um, style evolves and just how trends can really capture you. So Madewell has this beautiful, beautiful, um, colorful prints out right now. So this is the, it's like a confetti floral. And this is just a cotton shirt. Um, it's cropped and boxy, so I got this in a size medium. Um, I'm usually a small in Madewell or an extra small, but I know that this is going to look really good tucked into jeans, and it's cotton, and it's very nursing friendly, so I'm really happy to have this. I have worn it with some high-waisted culottes, which I have here, so it's not the most flattering <laughs> maternity of it, but I know I'm going to love this and get a lot of use out of it after baby, which is in two months. So. This is really pretty, it's cotton, it's breathable. I'm really happy to have this and make good use out of it. Another colorful shirt that I picked up from Madewell is this really pretty cotton embroidered top. Um, I'll have to get you to see a close up of this because it has this really fine vertical stripe in embroidered um, colors. So it has four colors in it, pink, blue, red, and a darker blue. And this is just a very sweet style. I'm gonna love this tucked in tie waisted jeans. Man, do I miss high-waisted jeans right now. But I know this is gonna look really nice. It's cotton again, so it's gonna be breathable. It has the buttons again for my nursing um, options. And yeah, I'm just really excited about it. It's actually very wearable right now with the bunk. It's a size small, which is my pre-baby size. And um, yeah, the length is really nice for over baby and then after babies, because there's a little bit of room in it, but it's also just like a really nice, 
sweet top. It's not, doesn't feel maternity on me, so I'm really excited to wear this after baby and right now. A couple of accessories that I got from Madewell. They have some really lovely scarves. I'm really loving the scarf trend right now. My husband thinks that I look like a flight attendant, <laughs> depending on how I wear this. But this is the scarf. They're about $12.50 USD, and they have a ton of other colors. So that's it rolled up. And this is the print here. I'm not sure if this print is available anymore online, but they definitely have some more. And this is just a really nice cotton scarf. I love these. Um, rolled up around your neck, in your hair. Um, there's so many different ways of wearing it. And so I'm really excited to add this as a really fun accessory. I'm looking more towards accessories right now as I'm getting bigger and as I don't have a lot more to wear. But um, yeah, that's a really fun option. And then a necklace I got is this really, really pretty shell necklace from Madewell. I really like Madewell's jewelry. Um, it's affordable, but not cheap. So it's like good quality. And then this is a what I thought was a shell locket. And then when you open it up, it's a really pretty little mirror inside. So it's really small, so I guess you can check your teeth in it, but my children love <laughs> playing with it. And I really love the whole shell trend, the whole mermaid theme that we um, as a culture are obsessed over. The next colorful thing, I think the last colorful thing I got from Madewell are the, these slides. Oh, are these comfortable? These are the first things I picked up. I fell in love with these online before I came to New York actually, and um, they were sold out online. So, and on Madewell, I think they're in and out of stock pretty quickly, but they're also in Shop Off, so I have all those links below if you are interested. These also come in a nude color, red, black, and then this. I think another color, but I forget what it is. But anyway, these are really cute. Um, they go along with this next item perfectly, the rainbow theme. So it's really nice to, if you go colorful, to go colorful in a couple pieces within the same store because it's all part of their color story and everything's coordinated. I'm really excited to wear these. Really excited not to have to do it my own <laughs> shoes because I can barely reach my feet right now. So I know these are gonna be in handy, come in handy and they're really comfortable and, and they're a little bit stretchy because they have elastic right here. This sweatshirt I'm really excited about and I don't usually get excited about a lot of casual wear often. I don't like spending a lot of money on casual wear but I'm at the point of my pregnancy where I'm like, I just wanna be comfortable. So this sweater is very comfortable. This I went up a size, two sizes in, so this is a large. So I wanted this to fit oversized. Um, the extra large fits over my bump a little bit better, um, but the sleeve length on the extra large is way too long. So I decided to keep the large and I know I'm gonna wear this a lot after baby. And it's just really comfortable and friendly and interesting. So when I do buy casual wear, I really like to buy something that's interesting and plain because otherwise I just won't wear it. Um, so I really love this rainbow detail. It'll go well with jeans and with those slides that I just showed you. So this is a really cheerful, casual wear <laughs> option if you have to wear casual wear which i'm not usually a fan of but if you gotta do it like go for it like do a rainbow version and then the last thing i got from madewell are these sweat pack culottes which sound terrible <laughs> but, but are my favorite thing right now i actually just washed these and they're a little damp because i just hung them to dry <laughs> but i wear them all the time so these are a size medium and then they have this like pat, like side patch pocket that's on the outside. And then you can see on the, the leg, they're just like a little bit shorter. This is a size medium. It's very high rise. So it goes to over my belly button and um, it's starting to creep like a little bit higher just because of the way my, my belly is shaped. But I love them. They also come in white and like a rust color, which I'm very like I'm considering getting because I like these so much. Um, and they're just, they're cool, like they're cotton, but they're not a heavy cotton. So if you're looking for kind of a, another casual wear option that isn't too casual that you feel comfortable wearing out of the house, I think this is a really good option. I love this. Um, if I wear a tight shirt underneath, I just tuck the drawstring in. But um, yeah, I just love these so much and I can't wait to put them on after this video. <laughs> That's how obsessed I am with them. The last colorful thing that I got in New York was this pancakes t-shirt, which is really funny. I don't think you can buy this online. Um, I will link to it, but it is actually sold out of a restaurant called Bubby's. So I have this whole New York vlog and I will um, link that up here. And one of our favorite places to go, Wes and I have been to New York a couple times for breakfast is Bubby's and they have amazing pancakes. And so they're so good that they've even made a t-shirt about it. And I just love this color. 
um, this colorway. I love a, like an easy graphic t-shirt and I think this is just a really whimsical um, piece. <laughs> I know this is going to be really nice with jeans and just like a, a really easy fun thing to wear around my children. And this is from Cezanne and it is their month monthly astrological shirts. They call them astrological shirts but they're not astrological. Like this says March on it in French. So it's called, it says Une fille de Mars which is a girl of Mars, a girl of March, a March girl. So that's my birthday month. Um, every other month has a bit of a different graphic. So this one has um, the big lips and then April, like every other one has like a bun, like nine red lips on it. So depending on your month, like there's not a lot of options, but they're selling out really quickly. So if you're interested in this, this is another easy graphic tee. I love my graphic tees from Cezanne. They're really good quality. They wash really well. Um, actually, it's the only place I buy graphic tees because I just love the French versions of it and I think Cezanne does a really good job with the quality of it. Um, this one I don't think fits right now. I actually haven't even tried it on, <laughs> so I'll see if I can try it on for you. Otherwise, I will just show you the details, but it is really fun. I'm excited again to wear this after baby high, with high-waisted jeans and I have a friend who just paired it with a really gorgeous red skirt from, I think, Reformation. And it looks so chic. So I really love the way that you can um, style a graphic t-shirt and make it a little bit more fashionable. So this is a good t-shirt for to do that because I think it has some really good colors. You can add that red scarf that I showed you below um, and some just high-waisted jeans or high-waisted cutoffs and you're just gonna look so cute. So the next item I got is from Aerie and this is such a cute dress. It is 100% cotton. It is smocked on the top and it is not maternity. Um, what I really love about it is that it has pockets, but the pockets add to the silhouette. So um, I usually don't wear a lot of smocked things because I have very square hips, so the shape isn't very flattering on me. But with this, the pockets create more of a rounded um, shape, like a skirt. And that's the same thing uh, as a it's the same thing with the Doan one where it just creates more of a out like an hourglass shape so um, if you are looking for something like that and looking for something that's just like easy and inexpensive this is $30 Canadian um, was on sale and it comes in a million other colors this is such a nice summer dress like this is so easy and it's like a, like a long normal length so like normally I find with Aerie is that it's way too short um, Aerie it's just like it's marketed towards younger people. I'm in my 30s, so it's not really marketed towards me, um, but I really do like every other piece of theirs, and this is something that's beautiful. Um, I would size down in it. This is an extra small. <laughs> um, you'll see how it fits on me, but they have um, functional buttons, and then the bodice is a little bit looser on the very top, so if you have a smaller bust, definitely size down. Um, I just love this print. I love gingham in the summer. I think it is so classic and I'm very, very happy to have this. I'm very tempted to get more. I wish it came in a white, which I haven't seen, but fingers crossed, they like to add colors, um, and I will have that all linked below for you. And now onto my maternity-specific pieces. Um, again, I don't really like buying a lot of maternity-specific pieces because I just don't find it wearable after maternity, after pregnancy, um, but Hatch is a brand that is made for before, during, and after pregnancy. And so what I got from there in New York, this is my New York piece, is the Jenna dress, which is so nice. This is, isn't this pretty? So I love the design of this dress. I think it is so well designed. The flutter sleeve is thick enough so that it, it covers a bra strap. Again, when you're nursing um, or if like you, your pregnancy boobs just get so big. So you need a bra, you need bra straps, and then this hides it. This is a, really, this is a tensile and linen fabric, so it's really um, breathable. I don't think this one has pockets, no. But this comes in a yellow, it came in a white at some point, and then this really pretty color that I'm about to show you, it's like almost like a pink, and I love it. It doesn't grow with me as much as I thought it would, so what happens with Hatch is it has three sizes, and what they recommend, like Doan, is to wear your pre-pregnancy size. And so for me, that would have been a one, and this is a two. I'm at the end of pregnancy, so I'm starting to swell, and then so this, like that whole um, requirement, that whole idea doesn't really work, especially if you have an item with buttons. So if you are looking at anything from Hatch, um, be prepared to either um, not wear it at the very end of your pregnancy, which is silly because it's supposed to be for during the entire time, 
or find a star that you really like that doesn't have buttons because that is the part that it's obvious, you know, that you grow out of. So I love this dress. I know I'm going to love it after. It's a pricey brand, but um, I know, like I said, I'm going to love it after and I'm going to get so much use out of it. It is so cute. I love the style so much. And then the last thing I got from Hatch and the most recent is from, is their Noel jumper. I've been craving a jumper this whole season and this is going to do really well. This is again a size 2, so this is a size bigger than what they recommend you wearing. Um, if you buy anything at the very beginning of your pregnancy, you might go up. It depends on how you swell, <laughs> which is personal. Um, I swell at the very end and I can't wear my rings right now. But this also comes with a tie and then I have to hem it just a little bit because I am 5'3 and then this is, yeah, just a little bit too big for me. So. Um, overall, very, very happy with it, and again, the buttons you'll notice growing out of. Yeah, I would recommend not buying buttons if you want to wear, not buying something with buttons if you want to wear it throughout your entire pregnancy because I think you're just inevitably going to grow out of it, but overall, a very smartly designed brand. And then the last thing I have are my sandals from Loeffler Randall. These are the star, starless sandals. I got these from Anthropology, but you can get them at a couple different places, including um, the Loeffler Randall site, which I think is the only one of the only places that still has it in stock. Um, it's also on Amazon actually, so I will link that below in this color. So this comes in a bunch of other colors. So this comes in silver, all gold, and then this one, which is like a nude and a gold mix. And what you can see is this really beautiful wrap sandal with gorgeous um, stars in leather that are just like whimsically wrapped around your ankle. So. I love these. This is not a new style. I've loved these for a couple years now, so I was really happy to get them. I really want the Heart Love versions, which I think came out at, in Valentine's Day last year. I forget, but it came out in red and pink, and it had um, hearts instead of stars. So very cute, very whimsical. This is going to go with a lot. I think metallic is basically a neutral, so this is going to work really well with basically everything I have. And um, even though it was a bit of a splurge, um, I've been thinking about them and loving them for a while. So after you love something year after year, I think it's a good sign that you're going to wear a lot of it. And this is seven and a half, so it's my true size. Again, my feet are just starting to swell, so <laughs> I will wear these for another month and then um, hopefully I can wear them throughout the rest of the summer. And that's my video. I hope you enjoyed everything. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe below and share it with people who may like it or may be interested in some of these brands. A lot of them relate to each other and I know I've turned on a lot of people onto Joan who likes Cezanne and like the opposite. So um, yeah, this is just a fun shopping channel. So I really hope to connect with all of you here, connect with all of you on Instagram, like I've said, and please connect with me there. I'm at Kate Boss. I'll have that link below. And it's been really funny just talking to people about their design purchases. Like I talk to women whenever we have um, a dough and release like what we're gonna buy and what we have like our eye on so it's it's just really fun um, Have a good day if you have any questions. Just let me know below. See ya